So the American right wing has a new folk hero named Kim Davis. She is a county clerk in Rowan County in Kentucky, and ever since the Supreme Court of the United States of America issued their ruling that gay people could not be denied marriage licenses, she has been doing just that. In fact, she's been denying everybody marriage licenses, including straight couples, and of course, four couples have filed suit against her, two gay couples, two straight couples. The matter went to trial. A judge said that she has to issue the marriage licenses. She says that she won't. Uh, he said she doesn't have to issue them personally, but she has to let the clerk's deputies issue them. She says she won't. She, uh, the judge uh, said he needs to fine her, but she said that even if she's fined, she still will not issue the licenses, and at that point, the judge had no choice but to hold her in contempt of court. It was either that or simply allow her to break the law. Now, because of this stuff, a bunch of politicians have gone ape shit, particularly Mike Huckabee, who said, Kim Davis in federal custody removes all doubts about the criminalization of Christianity in this country. We must defend religious liberty. What a world where Hillary Clinton isn't in jail, but Kim Davis is. I'm with Kim. We must defend religious liberty and never surrender to judicial tyranny. FreeKimDavisNow.com. I'm with Kim. Kim Davis. Exercising religious liberty should never be a crime in America. Free Kim Davis now. I'm with Kim. Kim Davis. And Senator Ted Cruz says that he unequivocally stands behind Kim Davis. And so does Bobby Jindal, and so do a bunch of the other uh, big Republicans. Donald Trump, interestingly enough, is not one of them. He basically said, gay marriage is the law of the land. We have to uphold the laws as they exist. So uh, I guess I have to give Donald Trump credit for not being as stupid as his contemporaries on this particular issue. So, this woman knows that she has become a martyr. This woman intended to become a martyr. She knew that she basically was giving the court no choice but to put her in jail. And she knew that the uh, Republicans of America seeking to be elected president would stand by her. And she knew that all the other people who believe the way she does will stand by her and view her as this great figure because she denied people marriage licenses. I've even heard her compared to Rosa Parks. No, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on the bus to a white person. Uh, she was denied her basic human rights. The people who were denied their marriage licenses are more comparable to Rosa Parks than Kim Davis is. Kim Davis is more like the fucked up white person who told Rosa Parks to move. Uh, and this idea that this represents religious liberty and the fact that she's in jail means that Christianity has been criminalized, that is outrageous to the extreme. Um, she is free to practice her religion. She is free to believe whatever she wants. She is free to think that gay marriage is a sin and a travesty and whatever else. But she is not allowed to impose her religious beliefs on other people. And that is what she's trying to do. She's basically saying, I have strong religious convictions, therefore other people should be denied their right to a legal marriage guaranteed to them by the laws of this country. Uh, that is not under the purview of religious liberty. There are tons of exceptions to religious liberty when it comes to imposing your religion on other people. Imagine if she refused to issue marriage licenses to interracial couples. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say, imagine if uh, a Muslim clerk refused to issue a driver's license to a woman uh, because of the, the misogyny in the Quran. There's misogyny in the Bible too, so I suppose uh, a woman could be denied a driver's license by a Christian on the same basis. I seriously doubt that most Christians would get in that person's corner though. But because this is a big hot button issue and a lot of Christians view this new law as um, being imposed on them by the courts, they feel like, oh, well, we don't have to follow it.
We, we're going to engage in civil disobedience. Well, you know, civil disobedience is still breaking the law. And you're still going to be punished for it. You might think the law is unjust. And I don't think it is, but maybe you're right. Maybe there is a God and he is super pissed that we allowed this to happen. But I think that if there is a God, he can look into your heart and see, yeah, this woman does hate gay people. She's just upholding the laws of her country. And if Kim Davis cannot uphold the laws of this country, if she cannot uphold her oath to function as the county clerk, then she should resign from that position. Oh, I almost forgot. I wrote a, a folk song for Kim Davis because she is a folk hero and every folk hero needs a folk song. So uh, I wrote one. I don't have a guitar or anything and I don't have the best singing voice, but I'll do the best I can. Not many women will be remembered, but history is sure to recall the bravest. She fought the gays, she fought for days, she fought the gays, and her name is Kim. It is Kim Davis, oh, it is Kim Davis, and she's the bravest, and she's the greatest. I'm the Amazing Atheist, peace the fuck out. If you enjoy this channel, please subscribe to it. And if you want to see me review the terrible movie Angels in the Outfield, we're almost to our goal of 100 audible trials. So audibletrial.com forward slash the amazing atheist.